All right, so let's look into this. Uh, Swain reveal happened today. Um, there was a leak a couple of, uh, yesterday that showed the cards a bit. So I do know some of these going into this, but let's see what else I don't know. By my hand will Noxus rise. Yeah, five mana Swain, fearsome, next strike. Well, we've done 12 non-combat -com damage. Okay, three, six. That's so much damage for hitting them in the Nexus, because you're like hitting them for three and then you get six. Imagine having a scenario that's good though. If you had a scenario like this, they would just play another minion. Very hard to get a Nexus strike with this dude. This card is stupid. Jeez, this card is so good. It's ridiculous how how good this card is in aggro and burn, because like you're dealing one to an ally unit to deal two, and Crimson Curator, I think this name, the the one that's actually on the board right now, uh, just takes, will deal two, and then this one deals two, so that's just four. You can play around it, of course, but the threat that it's four damage right there is so huge, and it's just two mana. In the worst case scenario, it's like you have a 2-3 on board and a really aggro deck. That's insane. I think this card is really good. You just play it on your... No! <laughs> Don't throw it on your Swain. <laughs> you missed out on damage. Okay. When we deal non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus, send the strongest back row enemy. Hmm. Next is try to deal three to all enemies. Man, okay. Man, what cards can proc that? Non-combat damage. Oh, they all got stunned and I don't even know why. Oh, and then you also have the one mana card too. But yeah. Like, this is what gets me. Like, yeah, you win. But the scenario is like... If you were already going to win regardless. Like, if you had three other cards. Well, I guess because Swain stunned them, right? But you've reached this part of the game. What could you have had in your hand to, like, burn them down? Non-combat damage. Oh, well. But yeah, look at this board. These cards. <laughs> Even as your Like, Like, if you're proccing this, you're already overkilling. Jeez. I guess it's just a make sure you win kind of game card, I guess. All right. I have the cards here. All right, we'll look at Swain again at the end. Ravenous Flock. I'm going to guess this is Swain's card. One fast, deal four, two unit with damage or stun. This does help the Yasuo type of deck, too. Um, I like how there's more stun support, too. But deal four, two unit with damage or stun. It's kind of good. Um, even if it's not stunned, you could still do forward to a unit that's damaged. Because if it was only stunned, then that's kind of very specific. It'd be like a two-card combo. Four damage is a lot to think about, though, for one cause especially. It's a good amount of damage. Um, if it was only stunned, I would compare it to the two-mana card in Freljord. But since it's also damaged and it's one less, it seems like a pretty decent card i wouldn't say really good but it is up there it does four damage that's really good because like also if you're trying to get rid of a big unit and you don't have like vengeance kind of deal this one might help a bit because you could damage it and then deal four usually that's not a scenario uh, people will play out for because everyone knows if you're at four health you need two spells and then if it's stunned well that just helps uh that just helps, that's just a good flexibility on the stun deck. Like if you don't have Yasuo on board. One thing that's the problem with the Yasuo deck is like not having Yasuo on board when you're stunning. But at least this one is like, well I can deal damage if Yasuo's not here. So that's pretty cool. Noxian Fervor. 3 mana, fast. Deal 3 to an ally unit, deal 3 to anything. I really don't like this card because on all of Vlad's followers, except for the 5-5, five five, which doesn't benefit from getting hit, is that they all die. 
they're all dead and so you wouldn't want to play with them although I guess you could play it on an aggro deck then that's when I guess it's better especially against like shadow isles shadow isle decks that like try to survive because they'll have grasp or like vile feast and you can deny their vile feast or, sh or grasp by killing your unit first and I actually didn't like this card until I thought about it because there's so many times where I wish I was targeting my minions instead of the opponents because sometimes targeting your own minions is like the biggest play you could do as it denies people. But most of the, most of the cards are like, you know, attack, like target enemy minions. Well, with this one, it, I think it's so well because you can deny like any of those cards. Sometimes those uh, cards are huge. Like... Right now I can only think of Shadow Isles, but like even on other plays like Death Death Grasp or Death Mark, where you switch um, Ephemeral to something, you can just kill your unit. You can also you can also prevent like Ezreal from leveling up sometimes. What else? Stuff like that. There's just um, being able to target your own minions. There's so much flexibility. Plus you're dealing three to anything. So it's not like you're just killing your minion. The only problem would be is like kind of the problem Glimpse Beyond has is that do they have another answer to do deal with it? Because you wouldn't want to respond this card first. This is kind of a card you would want to respond second. If someone did something, you would respond with this. If you did it first, you're kind of asking to get like uh, countered. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's good. Let's see. I think this card's insane. This card is so good for burn. Oh man. What a card. Yeah. I think this card is really good. It does say play. I think that means it's interactive though. Like you can interact before like the spell comes out. Or like you can kill the target she's going for. That way she doesn't deal the damage. If that's the case, rip the four damage combo dream. But she's still pretty good. Uh, I think this card is really, really good for burn. It's almost insane. Aggro has like a lot of damage right now. And I feel like this one just pulls it over the top. And the, the reason, like... <clears throat> the thing about it is like right now, aggro is in a spot where they kill you like turn six or turn five. And I feel like this card gives it more consistency or maybe earlier, which is kind of scary for the aggro game because like trying to survive aggro could be a huge problem in a game where like every deck is supposed to counter the, the next archetype. Like if, um, if aggro beats mid range, mid range beat control, control beats aggro. If, if aggro can be both, then that's when the game is in a really weird spot. So kind of uh, concerned if this card will do that. I doubt it, but the chances are still there. It is a really good card. That's why. City Breaker. Four mana, zero, five. Round star, deal one to the enemy nexus. Uh, you wouldn't play this in an aggro deck. You're in turn four. You, you kind of want them dead at turn four. Uh, Sejuani? Let's see, if you play this on Sejuani, you play this turn 4, you're spending all your turn 4 mana. Oh man. If you go against an aggro deck, and you play this on turn 4, that'd be so sad. If you don't, let's say you don't. Let's say you play against mid-range or control. You, you spend your 4th turn playing this card. Wow. Yikes. Especially because you don't deal damage to the 5th turn. Uh, even with Sejuani, that's... No, that's even worse because this is your first time doing damage. I don't really like this card. It doesn't seem good. It just seems too late. Especially if you're risking it dying because like maybe you just block with it. It is 5 health, right? But man, uh, I don't know. It seems like cheeks. Not a fan of this card. It doesn't look good. 8 mana, the Levitian. Or something. Overwhelm. Play draw swing. Ooh. Round start. Deal one to the enemy nexus three times. Well, this is so cool because I like cards that say, like, draw champs. Like, I love Draven's biggest fan where you put Draven on top of the deck. I love the Yeti synergy where it's, like, place a Yeti here and there. Those synergies are pretty cool. 
We draw Swain. Eight mana though. You're spending your whole turn up on this card. And in return you get a 5-8 with Overwhelm. I guess that's all right. Round start, deal one to the enemy nexus three times. I like how it says three times. Is there a chance that can increase? Let's say you're playing... Um, I don't know if that interaction will work. I highly doubt it. The Piltover chick or your spells do one more damage. Because it's not a spell. Yeah, never mind. Uh, deal one to the enemy nexus three times. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, I don't like this card just because it's such a high cost. It does help get Swain though. So it might be really helpful if you're playing a deck that really needs to draw Swain. Um, deal one to the enemy nexus three times is so weird. This card, I guess, definitely will try to end the game soon though. Huh. I guess it would. Because you're constantly hitting them with the Overwhelm. It's 8 health. It's going to be hard to kill it. And then, I mean, you're also dealing 3 damage. Might be good, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I feel like it could go either way. I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, well, with Swain, we've done 12 non-combat damage this game. That's crazy. I think a lot of uh, a lot of factions can synergize with this pretty well. But I don't know which one it would probably synergize the best. Probably Piltover because they have a lot of uh, burn. But the other decks could have control. Like, like Freljord and Shadow Isles could have a lot of control, making sure your Swain levels up and you're healthy. Maybe that would be useful because once you have Swain, maybe that's the end game. Kind of like the way you would level up Ezreal. Where you make sure Ezreal levels up and then you win. Maybe it could be similar to Swain. Especially because when he levels up, you can just stun the back line. Attack with Swain. Get free three damage. Free, like, a free board clear to everything. That is so good. Three damage to all enemies. That's crazy. Hmm. I wonder how consistent it will be leveling him up, though. I think that's my main issue for him right now. Uh, he definitely levels up, like, twice as fast compared to other champions, but... I don't know. How many answers can you have for a Swain? Like, can you have an answer just ready for Swain no matter what? Um... You can just save a card for him while he's on board. Right now when he's a 5 mana 3-6, that sucks because Calling Strike's a card. When he's leveled up, not a problem. You have... Oh, maybe if you run this with Draven, actually. You don't. You wouldn't have to worry about Calling Strike. Then you have Vengeance, of course. Everyone has to worry about Vengeance. He is 6 health. That is huge. That is definitely in the 2 to 3 spells, like... Mark to kill this man. The the fact that he's so healthy is so important, honestly. I mean, because he's on, he's gonna go on attack a lot, kind of like Thresh. Oh, he has th he has Thresh's stats. That's funny. Mm. Yeah. I guess we'll just see, right? I'm not sure how good this card will be. It might be really good. It might be okay. I guess we'll see. It does help Yasuo. With his one mana spell, though, kind of excited. I love Yasuo. All right. Well, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think about these new cards and tell me what you're excited for. What synergies do you think would work? Thanks. Bye.